Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick video of the Honda NC700X again. Today I just want to do a quick video on the performance of the bike, um, reference to the weight of the bike in drive mode and in sport mode. So a little bit about the bike, it does weigh 500 pounds approximately. This is a 2015, it's only got 685 miles on it. Um, I've only had it a couple months, I got it from a dealership that still had it in the crate so i've already done the first service on it and um my first experience with this particular model was a 2012 and uh after my riding after riding it just wanted to share uh i i thought it was a super light bike and i tried to actually pick it up to move it in a parking space and yeah there's no way i could pick it up so so that's just my experience of uh the weight of the bike riding it and maneuvering it is super easy and um even pushing it in my garage i mean my, i have a harley that weighs several hundred pounds probably like seven or eight hundred pounds and yeah i have to almost straddle the bike just to move it around because i'm afraid of the weight this thing here absolutely not afraid of the weight i think all the weight is uh is down low which is super nice so this particular bike i'm not going to go super fast you're not going to be able to hear me because uh it doesn't um, doesn't have much of a windshield, so I'm not going to have a lot of wind break. And all you're going to do is hear wind, excessive wind. So, uh, so let's go ahead and just do a quick ride. Kill switch off. Emergency brake is off. Go ahead and start it. All right. So we're just going to start off in drive mode. So again, I like drive mode for easy riding, perfect for residential areas, maybe an open highway. Um, you know, and I like the sport mode for heavy traffic areas and uh, maybe some mountain terrain type stuff or a lot of stop and go traffic. But even for 500 pounds, to me, this bike does not feel like 500 pounds. I, I would have guessed it's probably around 250, I mean, around 300. I'm um, the bike super light that I easily can come to a stop sign and stop. And um, not even have to put my feet down. So easy, easy, balance, balance is super easy. I've had, uh, I've had sport bikes, I've had full-size Harleys, and um, I'm, I really like this bike. I think it's a perfect bike for uh, someone who doesn't have a lot of experience as well. But even for someone who has a lot of experience, I still think the bike is a lot of fun to ride. Again, sorry for the noise, it could be a little windy out, so hopefully you can hear me okay. One thing about the automatic transmission bike, it does downshift on its own. So the nice thing is if you take your hand off the throttle, release the throttle, um, it does have somewhat of a, like a transmission brake. So reference the riding experience, regardless if you're in um, automatic mode or uh, sport mode or even manual shift mode, it's got these paddle shifters. So the whole time, you, you can adjust the, the gear that you're in at any time. It does have a six-speed transmission, which is super nice. Highway speeds around here are 75 miles an hour, so no problem on the highways what i like about i guess what i do like about the weight um i have taken on the highway 75 80 miles an hour and you know at, at those speeds riding along the semis and um, other vehicles at high speed um, feels super comfortable bikes the wind's not blowing me around too much but at low speeds and um 
it, it definitely feels like it's easy to maneuver. So, like I said, tight, tight turns, no feet putting down. So easy to do a U turn in any traffic condition. So, let's try sport mode. So, sport mode, I mean, definitely if I'm in traffic, this is a great gear. Done a lot of group riding and I can tell you if you have this bike you're gonna be able to ride well within groups by yourself you're not gonna have any performance issues keeping up with other bikers um, with this particular model um, it's almost got the sport bike feel but uh, the nice thing is uh, it takes it right below your, your seat so you can easily stand on the bike the bike corners really well. Got great um, braking capabilities. Bike's definitely well balanced. So again, this bike is like perfect for, um, I feel it's perfect for um, a man or a woman. I think for a woman, I think they'd probably really enjoy this bike um, being automatic. Um, they definitely can focus on other things, you know, to be very responsive to different traffic conditions than worrying about the right clutch and the right gear. And. Um, but, like I said, I got a Harley, a really nice Harley. I've had plenty of Harleys. And I am not embarrassed by riding this bike. The bike's also got great paint storage in here as well. I usually put my jacket and my helmet in there when I ride to work. Instead of my Harley Davidson baking out in the sun all day, I take this bike to work and pick up groceries in it, whatever I need. Again, like a regular regular drive mode and sport mode, I I'm, I'm I love the capabilities of um, the different riding experiences. Depending on the conditions I'm in, depending on the mood that I'm in, um, I can adjust the bike, you know, for myself. So, and the capabilities of paddle shifting and up sh up shifting and down shifting. Um, any time as well um, I like that so, maybe you can share your experiences as well um, I'm happy to hear your comments um, answer any questions. I tried to do a video yesterday. The wind was super bad. So I'm hoping this video turns out a little bit better. Wish I go a little bit further for you. But I'll try to think of some other videos, maybe some other opportunities. Different terrain I could go on. Anyway, thanks guys for watching.